We can use the command line to diagnose and learn more of our SD1 member interface. Coming up. To get more easy setup tips for your 48 firewall, subscribe now and don't forget to click on the bell notification and you won't miss anything. We can use our command line while configuring SD1 for uh, different tasks. One of them is to use uh, different protocols that will be used uh, towards uh, the server that was chosen in the health check. So if we look at the performance SLA, let's choose one. And we can see that on the graphical user interface, we only have two options to actually to ping our server that is using ping and HTTP. Now, if we will use the command line, config sys virtual WAN link, config health check, now let's edit the performance SLA that we have chosen, that is uh, SIP. Let's see uh, what is chosen. Show full configuration. And we can see that the protocol that was chosen is ping. Let's set protocol. And now you can see that we have the ping option, the TCP echo option, the UDP echo option, HTTP, and TWAMP. So that is something that is available on the command line and not on the GUI interface. Another thing that we can do or actually see using our command line, let's use the uh, diag sys virtual WAN link. Let's choose, um, let's choose again, let's choose the SIP can't see it that way. Let's choose the um, SIP health check. Now we can see the status of each uh, member in our um, SD-WAN, in our virtual SD-WAN interface. Uh, in terms of packet loss, we can also see it on the graphical user interface, but that is also a one way to look at the different members we can see that it is alive we can see that we have no issues currently with packet loss uh, and we can see the statistics for latency and jitter currently the other members are not alive uh, since uh, i have not enabled them on my uh, 48. Now, whenever we use performance SLA, we are actually telling our 48 to probe different services. We can configure up to two servers um, uh, that will be used as beacons. We are doing that to check the status, the health of the different members of the SD1 interface. Now, whenever our 48 probes that server it is actually using a route entry that is created let's see that route entry so we will use the get router info kernel uh, and those entries are actually flagged uh, they are created uh, in the uh, kernel they are called fib entries and they are flagged as Proto 17. So to see them, we will use the grep command and we will use the Proto equals 17. And we can see, let's uh, make that a bit bigger. We can see um, the um, different routes uh, they are being sent from the different uh, interface gateway towards the different servers that we have chosen. The first one was actually uh, the Google DNS server, which is 8888. And the second one is 1111. 